Hi, welcome to Consulting Corner. My name is Lauren Roberts and I'm the Director of Agency Consulting here with Kite Technology Group. Today, what I want to share with you is a few tips and tricks on how to use the Outlook add-in for Applied Epic. The Outlook add-in can save a few steps when you are sending and receiving emails through Epic. One of the first things that I like to show you is when you're on an existing email from Outlook, as I have one pulled up here, you'll notice that there's a little attach to Epic button. This button will allow you to directly connect the email into Epic and attach it from Outlook. So your alternative, of course, is to drag and drop. Uh, but if maybe you're on one screen for the day, maybe you're sitting in, in Starbucks trying to work on your laptop, sometimes it's easier to attach items with this add-in versus being able to drag and drop over into Epic. So let me show you what that looks like. When you click on the Attach to Epic button in your email, and this will also be in your um, main Outlook uh, if you're just looking at your list of emails as well. When you click that, it's going to bring up the Epic Attached To window. The first thing that you'll need to do, of course, is select the client code, which you'll see I have my client up here on the screen already. So I can just type that code right on in. The alternative is, of course, you can use your magnifying glass and search for that client. But for uh, ease of use and speed, I'm going to just go ahead and type that in there for you. Once I have typed in the client's code or selected the client from the lookup, you'll also need to select where you want to attach this email. Now, it's very important if your workflows determine where you're attaching uh, information in Epic, it's very important to select this option as you are attaching emails. So the first thing we'll want to do then is go ahead and use this drop down, and I'm going to select from activity. This email, as you'll see, is a request to add a vehicle to a policy. So I have already initiated my endorsement in Epic, so that way I can attach this email uh, to that endorsement activity. So I'll click on that, and it's going to pull up a list of open, open activities for you to attach to. Once you get into this screen, if there is an, a closed activity that you would rather attach to, you can select the Include Closed checkbox, and you can attach to those items as well. For now, we're going to use this open CHGE activity. Some other items you can do and select in this window are going to be to delete the original after you've attached it. Of course, that'll help uh, keep things clean. <laughs> and then also you can select that this is an important policy document. So if you've determined that this whatever is in this email is actually a carrier issued document and this is considered important to your agency, you can check that box and it will also flag that as an important policy document. The next thing you're going to do is make sure you add a great description in there for your email. Maybe this is email from client requesting to add the vehicle. Now, just doing this to be quick today, but of course you'd want to add quite a bit more description in there. Uh, maybe some details about the vehicle that you're adding. And of course you can select a folder as well if that's a part of your agency's workflows. Now, I'm not going to check my delete because I do want to use this email to reply to the client in the future, so I'm not going to delete the original email after I attach it today. Once we click on finish, that's going to go ahead and just attach that item in Epic. So now if I go over to my policy and access those activities, which are open, I can also access the attachment that I dragged or that I uh, attached from Outlook over to that activity. So there's my email right there. So that's your first option for the Outlook add-in. Uh, there are a few other options available for you and we'll show you those as well. Now in the case where I might want to reply to this email and also attach it as I'm replying to it, uh, I can click on reply up at the top of the screen and open a new email. Now you can also do this with a brand new email. I'm just using the reply for today. You'll notice that when you click on reply, you get a different set of options up here at the top of the screen. Uh, for today, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, select on one of the features that is insert epic attachments. Uh, in the background and prior to this, I already sent the auto ID or issued the auto ID in Epic. So what I want to do is insert that attachment and reply to the client with that information. If I do that, I can click on insert Epic attachments. 
I will need to locate the client first. Again, I have this code already, so I'll just start typing the tab over, and that's going to pull up the lookup there for me. And then I'm going to get a list of the attachments on this client account. Now, of course, you want to use your little um, attach date to sort that information, or you could also do a search where to find the document specifically. I see though here that I, that is my issue auto ID cards that I did earlier. So I'm just going to select that attachment and click on finish. Now, another neat thing that happens here is when you do select an attachment from within Epic, the attached to Epic checkbox is checked automatically for you. Epic has already connected to this email since you selected the client's account information previously. The same function will occur if you select to insert Epic contacts. So if I was creating a new email to the client, I could click on Epic contacts and it will also attach that information for me. We'll touch on the insert email template in just a second. Of course, you want to just go ahead and go about completing the email as you would. Um, we're adding a vehicle. And attached is your auto ID card. Okay. So once we click on send, that's going to take us into an attached to window in Epic. Now, the benefit to this is that, first off, you don't have to save documents to your computer to be able to drag and drop them into reply emails. Um, you can just attach those as soon as they have been generated in Epic. So any type of system generated um, document or multiple documents that maybe you've already attached in Epic, you can pull those into these emails as you're using the Outlook add-in. Same process as before, we would definitely want to continue to associate that to the same activity. So uh, I'm going to select activity from our dropdown and select that CHGE. And then I will do an email to client with auto ID card for new Chevy Silverado. All right. Again, drop that into the folder if that's your workflow, and then you can click on finish. Now, this is an example of how you can use the reply function and attach as you are sending those documents. This saves you again from having to drag and drop sent items from your sent box into Epic. It just automatically processes that for you as you're sending that email. A couple of other things that you can do with this. Uh, I'm going to reply to another email here. And in this email, I'm going to utilize our email templates. Now, I will show you where the email templates are located in Epic, but now you have the functionality in Epic to pull in templates that you've created over there and write directly into your Outlook emails. Uh, so I will click on insert email template. One little tip for you is that this insert email template will not show up in Outlook until you actually have email templates created in Epic. Uh, so you'll have to make sure that you have templates created in your database and configure prior to coming to this section and inserting email templates. So here we're going to select the template that I have recently created to confirm the change request to the client. You have the ability to include branding. I know a lot of folks have email signatures that automatically generate. So sometimes when you're using the Outlook add-in, including branding or a signature isn't exactly necessary um, if, that, if your email signature attaches automatically. Uh, if your email signature does not attach automatically or insert automatically into emails, you may want to utilize this function from Epic as well. The branding uh, is also over in configure where the email templates are, and I'll show you that as well. Again, we have to select the client because we're going to connect this before we send the email. Uh, so I'll choose Bill Smith's construction again and click finish. And that is going to bring in the client's um, contact information. So if I need to select the client's contact information here, I certainly can. And I will, in this case, I'm going to select Mr. Bill Smith. I am also going to need to select the policy, especially if my email template includes policy information. So if your template does, includes policy information, always make sure you select that. Uh, if it does not, then the policy is not necessary. 
So we'll select that for now. And another neat thing here is that you can actually preview what the email is going to look like before you include that in the email in Outlook. So here you can see I've included some details from the policy, the policy number specifically, and the policy description. And then of course you can add little things that are maybe pre um, set up so that you can fill in the information, but it doesn't necessarily pull the information from Epic. I'll show you what that looks like. So we click on finish. That's gonna pull this information in. We'll say maybe the changes requested were to add 2020 Chevy Silverado. And of course you could, this is just kind of free form. This is just give you an idea of what you can do with this. Once you have included that template, you can click on send and it's gonna take us right back to um, that detail that we saw before where we have to attach this email in Epic. And there we go, it's already connected for us because we selected the client previously. Again, we'll wanna make sure that we attach it to an activity, select that activity. And then we can of course update that email to uh, the email description to say exactly what that was. Um, so email confirmation of change to client. Add Chevy Silverado. Okay. When you click on finish, your email is automatically attached. So there's no additional steps to take once you have completed that information. So these are just a couple of different ways that you can utilize the attaching to Epic from Outlook. Uh, I do want to show you where the email templates are in case you'd like to set those up. So I'll drop you over to configure. And once we get configure pulled up, there we go. We would wanna go down into the email section. And here you'll see that you have a couple of different options. Uh, email templates, of course, is the one that you would select to create those standardized templates for your agency. And when you click on add, it's gonna give you the ability to add in all of these field defaults from your, um, from your policy information or from your account information. So you can utilize these very similar to the way that you would create letter templates in Epic. You'll notice that there's quite not quite as many uh, field defaults here for you to select from. So you do want to make sure that you preview these and test these out before you actually deliver them to clients. Um, but you do have some field defaults that you can put in there. And as you'll notice, uh, in this case, there's some information that won't pull in. So I leave a place for the user to manually enter that information. Some of the other things that you can do with your defaults for email templates is include the user's email signature. So if I was the one sending the email out, um, I can make sure that it pulls my signature uh, when that email goes. And then of course you can select those branding profiles as well. The branding profile is basically the information from your agency that's gonna be standardized from one email to another. Uh, you can always include that in Epic, or you can um, include that in Outlook as well as you're sending emails. That's all I have for you today. I hope that we have created some efficiency for you, and I hope you get a chance to test out the Outlook add-in in Applied Epic. Uh, if you have any questions on or have any issues getting the Outlook add-in to pull in, be sure to check with Applied Support, and they'll be happy to help you out with that. Hope everybody has a great day. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time.